A full list of everything you'll be needing to make these shorts is down in the description box below. We'll be starting with the back piece. Fold your fabric into two like I'm doing. To know the amount of fabric to fold, just fold your full hip measurement into two. We'll be starting with the back piece. So go to the top of your fabric, your folded fabric, and mark out four inches down. Then join this point with a ruler and we have formed the waistline. So this line we have formed by marking 4 inches down is the waistline. Then using the waistline as our new reference, mark downwards from the waistline your hip depth which is your waist to hip measurement and draw a straight line across. My hip depth is 8. Measure your hip depth. Your hip depth is from your waist to your hip and you draw a line across. This is the hip line. Now, also from the waistline, you will mark down your crouch depth, which is the length from your waist to the chair while sitting down. So, mark this from your waistline. Mine is 10 inches and draw a line across. This new line is the crouch line. Now again, from the crouch line, mark out between 2 to 5 inches depending on how short you want your shorts to be. It should be between 2 to 5 inches. This will make the hemline of your shorts. That's where our shorts are going to end. Choose the preferred length that works best for you. I'm using 5 inches. So after marking these 5 inches or whatever length you choose, you draw a straight line across that is the hemline of the shorts. Now go to the folded edge of your fabric and mark and draw a one inch line. This will be the side seam. You can use half inch if you prefer. Now, from the side seam, mark out your hip measurement divided by 4 plus quarter inch for ease on the waistline, hip line, and crouch line. Then draw a line across this point you have made on your waistline, hip line, and crouch line. So it's like a rectangle. We are going to form a rectangle. Go to your crouch line and divide the measurement, that's your hip measurement divided by 4 plus quarter inch, that measurement divided by 2 and mark this new measurement on the crouch line. It will form the crouch line extension. So just look at it as I have done. When you mark it, it will form a, the crouch line extension. Now divide your crouch depth by two like i'm doing and mark then make a two inch diagonal line upwards from the point where the crouch line and the crouch line extension meet 
a two inch diagonal line like i'm doing at the point where the crouch line and the crouch line extension meet now make a smooth curve from the mark you made on the crouch depth to the crouch line extension passing through that two inch diagonal line curve it smoothly like i am doing just like i'm doing now draw a straight line from the crouch line extension to your hem line like i'm doing On your hemline, you will go in by quarter inch at the inseam and half inch at the side seam. Quarter inch at the inseam and half inch at the side seam. And you will join these new points to your crouch line at the inseam and side seams respectively just like i'm doing so just follow my steps now mark about three inches up from the waistline this will be used to make the channel that we house the elastic band so just three inches upwards from your waistline and draw a line across so this has formed the channel where we are going to pass our elastic band through Now we're going to add half inch seam allowance around the entire crouch length like I'm doing. That part where I'm adding half inch, look carefully and closely, is called the crouch length. So we're going to have add half inch seam allowance or sewing allowance around that crouch length which will be used to join the pieces together. now we're going to add one inch seam allowance around the side seam the hemline and the inseam respectively now cut out the two pieces of the back piece the front piece of the shot is cut the same way as the back the only difference is in the length of the crouch line extension so repeat the steps of drawing four inches from the top of the fabric to form the waistline drawing your hip and crouch line from your waistline and drawing your hemline from your crouch line using the same measurements as that of the back piece so it's a replica of the back piece at this stage also draw the one inch line from the folded edge to form the side seam like the back piece like we did in the back piece and square out from your waistline hip line and crotch line your hip measurement divided by four plus quarter inch for ease and join these points to form a line just like we did in the back piece
for the front crouch extension line divide the measurement on the crouch line by four and mark then from the point between the crouch line and the crouch line extension make a one and a half inch diagonal line then divide the waist to crouch measurement by two and mark then make a curved line passing through this new hip depth point the diagonal line then to your crouch line extension make sure it passes through that one and a half inch diagonal line then continue with the same steps as the back shot by extending the crouch extension to the hem hemline going in on the hemline by quarter inch at the inseam and half inch at the side seam and joining this point to the crouch line at the inseam and side seams respectively then you extend the waistline by three inches to make the case for the elastic band add your half inch seam allowance around your crouch line just like we did in the back piece and one inch seam allowance along the inseam hemline and side seams respectively Now cut out your front piece. Place your front pieces right sides to right sides and we'll be sewing along the crouch length. We'll also do the same thing for the front piece that's pin both front pieces together right sides to right side and will also be sewing along the crouch length go to your sewing machine and sew on a half inch sewing allowance around the crouch length so we are sewing around the crouch length on a half inch sewing or seam allowance this is what your front and back pieces should look like after sewing the crouch lengths now pin both pieces together right side to right side that's pin your front piece and back piece together but they should be touching each other right side to right side and we're going to sew along and join them along the inseam and side seams respectively sewing on a one inch sewing allowance go to your sewing machine now and join these two pieces right side to right side along the inseam and side seams with a one inch sewing allowance
this is what your shirt should look like at this point now to form the elastic band case or channel that we house your elastic band fold the three inch extension into two and fold over again like i'm doing now pin to hold in place like you see me do We are going to sew round, but that after pinning, we are going to sew round, but we are going to leave about one and a half inch opening. This opening is for the elastic band to pass through. Now go to the hemline and also pin in place preparing it for stitching. Go to your machine and stitch along the waistline where you pinned remembering to leave about one and a half inch space while sewing. Also sew your hemline. Fix your elastic band into the waist, the channel you have created, and close up the opening. This is how your shirt should look like after sewing. I will go ahead to press and finish off the raw seams. This short tutorial does not have a pocket. Another tutorial will be uploaded on how to make elastic band shorts with pockets. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share and turn on the notification bell. I will see you in my next video and good luck if you try this project especially for the first time. Bye bye!